This program is brought to you by CD-ROM International. Hi, welcome to CD-ROM Review. I'm Roger Hutchison. And I'm Julie Kravanek. We all watch television and we all watch videos. And up to now, we all know it's been hard to get good quality video onto computers. Well, all of that's changed. Today there's a new system out there that lets you see full motion video from a CD-ROM. It's called White Video and it's just been released. We're thrilled to be able to introduce it to you today. Coming up on today's CD-ROM review, how does white video compare to existing formats? We'll let you see for yourself. What happens when you mix some of the world's best music with some of the world's most beautiful scenery? You'll be amazed. And we'll show you the world's first multimedia upgrade kit with 16-bit sound, video playback, three movie discs, and a double-speed drive. Stay with us for the CD-ROM review. What is a CD-ROM? A uh, convertible with twin overhead cams, 300 horsepower, mag wheels, and a spoiler? Not even close. A CD-ROM is an adventure, your window on the world. See and hear history, a safari, a vacation, even a trip into outer space. A CD-ROM can help you explain your ideas and explore business, medicine, law, desktop publishing, or any other field. To discover the latest in CD-ROM technology and find out about nearly a thousand CD-ROM products, call for our brochure, 1-800-CD-ROM-05. These are the best deals available for moving into the world of CD-ROM. Our double-speed CD-ROM starter kit is just $299. You'll get a Panasonic double-speed CD-ROM drive with fantastic CD-ROM discs. For a limited time, we'll include Compton's Interactive Encyclopedia, a $299 value, a Shareware CD, plus a Kodak Photo CD viewer. Or move up to our classic collection, a complete multimedia experience for just $399. You get the double-speed CD-ROM drive and an 8-bit sound card. You also get six terrific CD CD-ROM discs including Microsoft Bookshelf, Macromedia Action, Clip Media, Halo Desktop Imager, Mantis, and a Shareware disc. For the ultimate experience in multimedia CD-ROM, try our Double Speed Supra Collection. For $499, it's everything in the Classic Collection, plus the LaserWave Supra 16-bit sound card. To order the Starter Kit, the Classic Collection, or the Supra Collection, call our toll-free order line today. Act now and you'll also get OptiCD, a program that increases the performance of your CD-ROM. Welcome back. QuickTime is a video format that was originally developed for Macs, but was ported over to PCs. And we're going to take a look at a QuickTime movie. Roger, which movie are we going to um, look at? I've brought in a disc called Worldview, and up to now it's been a good example of state of the art of, of technology in our industry. Mm -hmm. And what we have on the screen are 25 different icons. And behind or little movies. Or These little, all represent exactly. Little it's movies. a still picture, and behind each still picture is a little QuickTime movie. Mm -hmm. Let's play a couple of them and see what we have uh, as an example of a QuickTime format. Okay. So this is a, a shuttle launching. Yeah, it's basically, you know, it's about one sixteenth of a screen. Uh, you can expand the QuickTime movie up to about a quarter screen. And uh, it's about, I would say, that's probably anywhere from three to seven frames a second. It's not very good, really. I mean, it's kind of choppy. Well, the, there's the, se several things to consider. One is the quality of the video, the jerkiness of the video, and the sound itself is actually not very high quality sound. Mm -hmm. So a QuickTime movie, I'll give you one more example. This is, okay. uh, I think, a shuttle taking off, a space shuttle or a jet. Looks like a whale in the water. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it's a, an airborne whale <laughs> coming in from a landing after a lunar mission. Oh, that's nice. And you see the pixelization <laughs> and that sort of thing. What's that mean, pixelization? Pixelization means that you can see distortions. It's not like a clear a contrast thing. around the edges of objects and that sort of thing. So once again, a, a shuttle landing. So this is a good example of, of QuickTime today. Hmm. Okay. Thanks, Roger. Up to now, AVI, or Audio Video Interleave, has been the best available way of matching audio with video on a CD-ROM. We're going to take a look at how it works with a double speed drive. What we have here is a, a Microsoft product, uh -huh. and it's produced by the CD-ROM group at Microsoft, Bill Gates' company. It's called Dinosaur Movies? Well, it's called Dinosaurs, and it has okay. uh, AVI file files in it which have different uh, movies on it. One of the more popular ones today is called The Hunt. There's also Dangerous Dinosaurs and Death of the Dinosaurs. But the essence of the, com the communication, if you will, that we'd like to get across here is what we can do with AVI files today. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to play a few minutes or uh, a couple of minutes, if I could, of this movie called The Hunt.
You can see it's about quarter screen. Oh, okay. And I can move that down into the middle of the uh, so screen. That's, that's more clear than what we just saw. This is a It's pretty good. Bit, yeah. It's not bad. In fact, I've actually demonstrated this on other programs and to several groups and shown this as state of the art in uh, video technology. And this is only about three or four months ago that I demonstrated mm -hmm. this. Now, you can bring this screen up. In other words, you can have a larger size uh, display. This is about 15 frames a second. And how long do these movies last? Well, the movies last anywhere from a few minutes to a few seconds, mm -hmm. depending on the content on this particular disc. You can put about 90 minutes of this on a CD-ROM disc. OK. And where did they get the models for that, Roger? Well, I think this is really <laughs> live footage. <laughs> oh, it's pretty clear, though. Uh -huh. They've got them barking like dogs. Yes, and that was also a sound crew out in the forest, <laughs> yeah. and they recorded that live as well. OK. okay. Well, good, it's a good so example. AV AVI, Audio Video Interleaf. AVI and QuickTime were good while they lasted, but the state of the art just took a quantum leap forward. Roger, what exactly is white video? You know, Julie, I was just thinking people in the audience, we just said uh, QuickTime and AVI were good while they lasted, and we just took a giant leap forward. They're going to think that the technology is obsolete, and you know what? It is. It is, yeah. With this type of technology today, we, we surpass just tremendous quantum leap over existing technology in the CD-ROM industry. With white video. With white video. Uh -huh. AVI was good while it lasted, and it was the best effort that the Microsoft group could put forward, and mm -hmm. a lot of developer, developers have used it and adopted. Uh, QuickTime was certainly the best and, and is the best at this time in the Macintosh environment. It was ported over to the uh, IBM-compatible Windows environment. And this white video format really surpasses anything anyone has ever done in this industry. So Let this me give is the you, latest. This, this is, is really, latest. really state-of-the-art. Let me show you a clip. Now we have quarter screen. Oh. You can see it's Ooh, not 15 great. frames a second. There's very, there's no more pixelization whatsoever. The um, space shuttle no longer looks like a whale. Right. It's 16 <laughs> bit it sound. It's but watch terrific. this. Not only quarter screen, but we can ah. actually go full screen. Oh, look it. You feel like you're inside of it. Mm -hmm. This is coming at 150 kilobytes a second. You see the CD-ROM drive is only being accessed about half the time. This is just like watching television. It is exactly like watching television. I can show you a couple other samples on ah. this particular disc mm -hmm. also. We can go down to, for example, education, mm -hmm. click on that, and we'll see a few moments of this. This mm -hmm. is a Kennedy speech. Oh. This is very engaging. It would be engaging for um, kids to try to get introduced to the to the computer. Yeah, you know, the, the movies that we've put on CD-ROM discs, uh, I mean, I certainly think have been good. But everyone who has experience in TV or in motion pictures comments that the quality uh, is not it's good remarkable. enough. So people have been working, and they now have the ability to have truly high-quality video on CD-ROM for the first time. Now, how long would each of these segments be? We could put this type of quality information, in other words, this, this quality of video, we could put 74 minutes on a single CD-ROM disc at this time 74 today. minutes? 74 minutes. Ah, that's almost a movie. Well, in, uh, mm -hmm. it's very close to, say, the average movie right now is 90 minutes, so we can almost put the complete contents of a full movie on a CD-ROM disc today. Shortly we will, I'm sure. Well, I, I, I think so, but certainly at 74 minutes, the worst case oh, scenario is you'd have t two discs if you wanted to have, yeah. like, a 150-minute movie. Yeah. It's really incredible. It is remarkable, the difference between what we first saw and this. And in how soon a period of time has that... Well, you know, I, I think it's only been uh, perhaps two years from the beginning of multimedia to where we are today. Isn't it incredible? We're going to take a break. When we come back, try to imagine danger, cunning, intrigue, all on a CD-ROM. <laughs> That's what you'll find when you visit the underground empire of Zork. We'll join the interactive adventure when the CD-ROM review continues.
These are the best deals available for moving into the world of CD-ROM. Our double-speed CD-ROM starter kit is just $299. You'll get a Panasonic double-speed CD-ROM drive with fantastic CD-ROM discs. For a limited time, we'll include Compton's Interactive Encyclopedia, a $299 value, a Shareware CD, plus a Kodak Photo CD viewer. Or move up to our classic collection, a complete multimedia experience for just $399. You get the double-speed CD-ROM drive and an 8-bit sound card. You also get six terrific CD-ROM rom discs including microsoft bookshelf macro media action clip media halo desktop imager mantis and a shareware disc for the ultimate experience in multimedia cd rom try our double speed supra collection for 499 dollars it's everything in the classic collection plus the laser wave supra 16-bit sound card to order the starter kit the classic collection or the supra collection call our toll-free order line today act now and you'll also get opta cd a program that increases the performance of your cd rom Get it done, anywhere, anytime. These are the demands of the 90s. To help you meet these demands head on, meet Panasonic's revolutionary new CFV21P notebook computer. The first with a built-in CD-ROM option, offering the largest color active matrix LCD. More options, more upgrades, more features to make getting it done your everyday reality. Ready to take multimedia on the road? The Panasonic CFV21P gets it done with a built-in CD-ROM disk drive, brilliant color screen, and CD-quality sound card. Ready to leave the heavy manuals at the office? The Panasonic CF-V21P gets it done. Ready for easy-to-install upgrades, like a pen-based tablet and an audio-video tuner? Ready to get it done anywhere, anytime? Call 1-800-742-8086 for the dealer nearest you and for our free brochure. Not only is Return to Zork an exciting interactive adventure, it has a soundtrack with 180 original compositions. Roger, should I fasten my seatbelt? <laughs> I think so. Let's go visit the land of the Zork. Okay. Now we start with the, uh, the white video. Uh -huh. This is also available in an AVI format. And that's at Infocom. Yeah, that, it's just basically the name of the, the company that, mm -hmm. that is involved in it. And you'll see the high quality it's video. To return to the Zork. <laughs> we can go full screen. Hello. These you look like real people. Far. You know, it's very That's interesting how they created this. Lady. These are real people, That's and it's superimposed on an animated background. Okay, they hired professional quality uh, actors, okay, and the they the dubbed them in, if you will, on top of an animation background. It almost looks three dimensional. Oh yeah. Well, that's what I was reading about in the program. They supply a program. Oh really? And they tell yeah, and they tell all about the actors and um, what they've been on before and um, who's in the production, who does the design, uh, who composed the music. Hmm. Could you read us about the first actor? I understand he's fairly famous. Uh, Will McAllister has been seen in uh, Walt Disney films on ABC Television. Um, in the Munsters today, remember that, the Munsters? Oh, I certainly do. Yeah. Well, this is the example of uh, the type of uh, interactive multimedia that we now have available in the white video format. It's really, once, as you said earlier in the show, it's taken a quantum leap in quality. And you can see no more pixelization. It's full screen. This is a very inexpensive uh, monitor that goes with the computer. It this is, is just a normal speed. monitor that people would have? This monitor no. cost about $300 and it comes as standard equipment. You know, I've, I've been watching CompUSA and I've been watching some of the ads in the local newspaper for like Office Max and Sears and Montgomery Wards. For about $1,500 right now, you can buy a 46 computer with a very good hard drive, four megabytes of RAM. And for $1,500 in addition, uh, you can add in this technology. Look at him. He's Isn't a crystal that just ball. <laughs> absolutely incredible. Yeah. Return to the Zork, by the way, was the most popular game in the United States this year. And so it's not only available in the AVI format, it's now available in this white video format. And by the way, some people might be confused b because I keep using the expression white video. Mm -hmm. White video is the term that we coined to describe this technology. Other people are calling it MPEG. So oh, MPEG okay. so this and white video they can be are used interchangeably. Identical. Exactly. Okay. Zork, isn't that near Indiana or? I think it's, it's just <laughs> left left of uh, Mississippi <laughs> River. <laughs> yeah, these look like Midwesterners. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, this is great. And how long does this last? Uh, this lasts. The, the game, interactive game, is about ninety minutes. 
It's great. Return to Zork. Return to Zork. If you think you can handle it, here's how you get Return to Zork. Call 1-800-CD-ROM-05. Now, Zork usually costs $79.95, but through this program, you can get it for just $49.95. Imagine soaring melodies of Mozart and the towering beauty of Yosemite National Park. It's wonderful. And you don't have to imagine it. You can have it on CD-ROM. Roger, white video is what makes this disc so great, isn't it? It is. And just look at the quality at quarter screen and also at full screen. I mean, it's really just a remarkable experience that this qu type of quality is now available on CD-ROM. Did they shoot this with, a, uh, is this a video shoot or how? Actually, the company that produced this is a company called EE -E Multimedia Productions. They're located in Salt Lake City. Oh. And the president of that company is a man named John Evans. Uh, what John did is he actually hired a professional film crew to go out into the park and film, uh, you know, basically a, a TV program or a motion picture. We digitized it using the MPEG format, and the digitization cost about $125 a minute. In mm -hmm. other words, if you had a movie and you wanted to produce a movie in the MPEG or white video format, it would cost you about $125 a minute to encode in this format. Hmm. And then they superimposed the Mozart music on the video, and it's basically an hour, it's actually over an hour, it's 74 minutes hmm. of this quality of video and sound uh, in Yosemite National Park. Hmm. And it's really an incredible product. Oh, it's lovely. It's nice to um, just have a CD of Mozart, mm -hmm. but now you can have pictures as well. It's gorgeous. Think of what this means to people who are interested in rock and roll music. You not only in the, right now, actually technically today, we could go to a rock concert and we could hear it and we want to go out and buy a CD. We come back oh, and sure. listen to it like a David Bowie or, you know, Sting or something like that. But with this technology, you could go out, you could film the rock concert, you know, you could have a professional crew film it, you could digitize the rock concert and come back and not only get the music, but you could get this quality of video in the rock concert itself. Roger, we ought to go into business. You know, I think we, that's a really good idea. We'd I beat we MTV. Should, yeah, really, we could. Oh, that's good. So anyhow, EEMP uh, in Salt Lake City produced this, and we're going to show another one on hunting that they produced. Mm -hmm. They're a very environmentally conscious group, by the mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. And um, 74 minutes of this quality on a CD disc today. Well, it's a nice combination of... Um, classical music with beautiful nature. Mm -hmm. I think that's that's mm -hmm. It's very wonderful. soothing. Of course, we not only can have this type of material on the CD-ROM disc, we can have interactive training. And because of the quality, we actually could do it for physicians in very, very specialized niches in the industry today. And this is called Mozart Visits Yosemite. That's right. Mm -hmm. We've got a great deal on Mozart Visits Yosemite. Through CD-ROM Review, it's just $29.95. To get your copy, call 1-800-CD-ROM-05, 24 hours a day. So white video is a pretty new format, isn't it, Roger? It's really brand new. I mean, literally a week old. One of the great things about this program is when there's new technology in the industry, we can show it the same week. What else is available? You know, in the, earlier in the show, you mentioned we could put a rock concert on CD-ROM. Mm -hmm. You know, not only get the music, but the uh, video as well. Right. Well, it, it's not rock but it's country and western and it's Crystal Gale. This is ah. a sample of something coming out in the industry in the very near future. Well, that's beautiful. So imagine going to your local CD place where you buy CDs and buying a Crystal Gale uh, CD and coming back and putting it in your computer, playing it back in, in your CD audio player, but now you can have it either in the computer or you, there are devices that you can attach directly to your television. So I can play this in both places? Yeah. If I were a rock and roll, you know, musician, or I were country and western or classical, I would want my stuff to be put on this technology. Oh yeah, it's wonderful. Isn't that So incredible? this is 74 minutes of just Crystal Gale? Or? It's 74 minutes of Crystal Gale as well as her music. So it's the video and the audio all at once. And let me show you another quick example. There's a, a producer up in Salt Lake City called Mel Hardman. Uh -huh. And Mel is responsible for the, a lot of the things that we're showing on the TV program today. And once again, Ooh. you can start at quarter screen. Wisdom Dancers. Wisdom Dancers. Oh. In concert at Monument Valley. Oh, that's gorgeous. Isn't that incredible? Dennis Allen. Oh, that's gorgeous. 
And this goes, you know, once again, you can put, you know, way over an hour on a CD disc at this time. Photography by Mel Hardman and Melanie Bailey. Beautiful. So there's lots and lots of examples mm -hmm. forthcoming. At the time that we're, you know, as of today, there's less than 10 of these CD discs in the industry. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about an industry that was announced at Fall Comdex in 1993, and it's just now beginning to uh, take hold. You also had another one you were going to show me on hunting, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, take a look at this one, Julie. This is called The Nature of Hunting. Now, and we talked about this, and I, this is not going to be where they skin Bambi or do anything <laughs> awful. We, 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 we could, with this technology, produce, you know, actually that type of video. But, of course, what this is, I think it's a very interesting, perhaps somewhat controversial topic. But a lot of hunters, at least that I know, I was brought up in the woods of northern Maine, as you know, and a lot of hunters go into the woods because they want the experience to be outside. This white video product called The Nature of Hunting, it's also by EEMP uh, in Salt Lake City, EE Multimedia Productions, is why do people hunt? And it's in the white video format. So it's an environmental approach. It's a, certainly a very strong environmental use of uh, the concept of being in the outside. Okay. If you'd like the nature of hunting, we can offer it to you for the special price of $29.95. Just call 1-800-CD-ROM-05. If you want to move into MPEG Multimedia, you're going to love our bundle of the week. It has white video and a whole lot more, so stay with us as the CD-ROM review continues. What is a CD-ROM? A uh, convertible with twin overhead cams, 300 horsepower, mag wheels, and a spoiler? Not even close. A CD-ROM is an adventure, your window on the world. See and hear history, a safari, a vacation, even a trip into outer space. A CD-ROM can help you explain your ideas and explore business, medicine, law, desktop publishing, or any other field. To discover the latest in CD-ROM technology and find out about nearly a 1,000 CD-ROM products, call for our brochure, 1-800-CD-ROM-05. These are the best deals available for moving into the world of CD-ROM. Our double-speed CD-ROM starter kit is just $299. You'll get a Panasonic double-speed CD-ROM drive with fantastic CD-ROM discs. For a limited time, we'll include Compton's Interactive Encyclopedia, a $299 value, a Shareware CD, plus a Kodak Photo CD viewer. Or move up to our classic collection, a complete multimedia experience for just $399. You get the double-speed CD-ROM drive and an 8-bit sound card. You also get six terrific CD-ROM CD-ROM discs including Microsoft Bookshelf, Macromedia Action, Clip Media, Halo Desktop Imager, Mantis, and a Shareware disc. For the ultimate experience in multimedia CD-ROM, try our Double Speed Supra Collection. For $499, it's everything in the Classic Collection, plus the LaserWave Supra 16-bit sound card. To order the Starter Kit, the Classic Collection, or the Supra Collection, call our toll-free order line today. Act now and you'll also get OptiCD, a program that increases the performance of your CD-ROM. The CD-ROM Review Bundle of the Week is your best CD-ROM bargain. Roger, what's in this week's bundle? Well, this week's bundle includes a double-speed Panasonic CD-ROM drive. This is what we've been selling in all of our other bundles. It's probably the best money, uh, you know, for your money, it's the best deal in the industry. Uh -huh. It takes five and a quarter inch discs as well as three and a half inch discs, and it is a double-speed technology. Okay. The bundle of the week also includes three MPEG or white video products. Uh, Mozart visits Yosemite. Okay, we saw that one. Nature of hunting, the right. nature of hunting. Nature is seen through the eyes of the hunter. Uh -huh. And it also includes the most popular game in MPEG format or white video format of 1993. This is called The Return to the Zork, and it's by Infocom. Now the final okay. thing that this bundle includes is the video board that permits you to play back this technology on the computer. Okay. The video board is also included in it a 16-bit sound card, mm -hmm. and that's in our system at this time. Okay. So we have all of this for $799. You know, Julie, if you just permit me to digress for a moment, our company's been around from the beginning of the industry, you know, mid-1980s, mm -hmm. and I was looking through some of our older catalogs, and I came up with our one that's dated February 1990. And in it is a single speed 
CD-ROM drive for $799. Just a single speed And drive. at that time, which is only three years ago, we were selling single speed CD-ROM drives with the interface for $799. No discs, no sound card, no video card, nothing. What we can do today mm -hmm. basically means that the industry uh, has, has evolved and many more people are buying it. So for $799 today, you can get the same thing that we're showing today of what you could buy three years ago. So once again, what does it come with? It comes with the Panasonic double speed drive, okay. the Compro video card, which includes a 16-bit sound card attached to it, right. and three MPEG or white video movies, okay. including Mozart Visits Yosemite, The Nature of Hunting, and The Return and to the Zork. Return to Zork. Right. Okay. $799 is a great price. To order it, call toll-free 1-800-CD-ROM05. Or for this or any other CD-ROM review product, you can send a check or money order to CD-ROM International, 603 Park Point Drive, Suite 110, Golden, Colorado, 80401. CD-ROM technology is developing rapidly, and that leads to a lot of questions. Here are a few we've either gotten from viewers or customers. And the first one, Roger, is that we've heard you refer to um, different colors, red book, yellow book, green book, mm -hmm. and now you're talking about the white book. What does all that mean? It's, it's confusing. CD audio is based on an international standard, and that's called the red book audio standard. From the red book, we evolved into the yellow book, and the yellow book are the set of international standards that define CD-ROM technology. From red book, we went into green book, Green Book was a bridge standard going from text and data to what's called extended architecture or XA audio and a bridge to full motion video. There was also an orange book standard and that standard defines how to write to the CD-ROM disk. It's the write once st standard. Hmm. And then the final standard that we're dealing with is called white book. White book is the ISO standard, it's 11172. And we coined the expression white video to describe what is behind the white book audio standard or white book video standard. And it's really the way that the information is put on the disc that gives us this ability to play this extraordinary video back on the CD-ROM. Okay. The second question we've received is um, how much video actually fits on a CD-ROM disc? We can put depending on the quality of the video. We can put 74 minutes of MPEG approved or the MPEG or white video standard on CD-ROM. If it's an AVI file or a QuickTime file or something like that, we can usually put more but at a far uh, lower resolution. So everything we saw today we that was in this 70, week's bundle 74, 74 minutes, minutes, minutes of that quality on a, a CD-ROM today, about 660 megabytes. That's great, okay. The last question we have is, um, and this is an interesting one, will white video ever replace VHS tape? Uh, good question. Uh, whoever sent that in, do you have the name of that person? <laughs> I'd like to compliment them. Will white video ever replace VHS tape? Yes. <laughs> it will replace VHS tape. I think uh, VHS at this time is technologically obsolete. And I know that we're going to get a lot of criticism really? from saying that. If you can write this type of information to a CD disk using another technology called magneto-optical mm -hmm. and then press that information onto a CD disk and attach that to your TV as well as the computer monitor and it's digital as opposed to analog, the quality of this is equal to or better than VHS. In mm -hmm. fact, this is spec'd out not only to the current standard for the video signal in the United States and Europe, but for high definition television. Interesting. If you have a question about CD ROMs, please send it to CD ROM International, 603 Park Point Drive, Suite 110, Golden, Colorado, 80401. Have you ever wished you could take your CD ROM on the road? Of course you have. Well, be sure to tune in next week when we show you how to do it. Thanks for watching. See you next week.